Oh my. Look at that. It looks like a got a Japanese flair. Oh my gosh. So we're cruising around St. Louis and we just got our Starbucks with Chris Suing, Nature's Recreations, uh, one of our top artists of the year out here in St. Louis. So this is a pineless waterfall. How long ago did you put it in? This one we built about a year ago, oh, last July. New. Yeah, so this is pretty new. Not even a year, okay. Not even quite a year. It was a redo from an old sailing aquascape system that the contractor just didn't know what he was doing. It was on a CAC. This is why so you want to hire a certified aquascape contractor. It's always cheaper to go with the guy that knows what he's doing than the guy that just kind of does it. So we ripped it out, redesigned it, reclaimed the space by changing out the patio, put a nice little fire pit right next to nice. the basin of this. It's just a, a, a spectacular feature so, in addition to the space. And that's what it is about how people live the lifestyle. That's why you put the fire pit there because you knew how they would use it. Absolutely. Really cool. All right, can't wait to see it. Oh yeah, beautiful. So this is a beautiful project, Chris. You actually did not just the pondless waterfall, but I love how you designed the fire pit in there. And you even said that you put the bluestone patio in and the landscaping. Yeah, we totally redid the entire space here. This was a, a old paper patio that was really washboarded up, had some poor drainage, a really small pond that was just non-functioning. She wanted something that she could see from inside the house here and really utilize and reclaim this space. So we took out some bed area that was just De designated for drainage where you repurpose these Mexican beach pebbles up here on the retaining wall and made her patio much bigger added the fire pit so she could sit and actually enjoy this whole space. It's absolutely beautiful. And how'd you build the Pondless Waterfall? How many tons of boulders? How many, what size pumps? This is a Aqua Surge four to 8,000 pump. We've only got about five small Aqua Blocks in here. This one, I think we got about 15 tons of weathered limestone. And what's the homeowner? How's the homeowner feel about it? Oh, she absolutely loves it. What would a project like this, just the water feature portion, what would that sell for from Nature's Recreations? Just a waterfall of that size. We're probably in the 15 to 18,000 range. Very, very good. Well, that's a one of a kind, unique work of our custom creation. Yeah. But if you guys could have seen this beforehand, we would have been sitting in this old, the old pond and it was just a complete disaster of a design. The retaining wall just tapered down and they put the, wall, the waterfall on the other side of the retaining wall and it shot down that way and faced a room that nobody ever is in. So the, the entire orientation of the water feature was completely wrong and just done improperly. Now she's got a great view of this. That sunroom is really focused right on this. She sits in there a lot. She can still see it from her kitchen window, which is always a plus and a must in our designs. But this is a complete transformation from what it used to be. The view from inside the house, most even outdoor loving people, they spend most of their time inside. So the view from inside the house is imperative when you build a water feature. And how many people say, I want it in the back corner of the low spot of my yard. That's Too not many. That's not where you want the pond. You want it up close and personal. You want the living space around it, just like this, so we can sit here next to the water feature and enjoy it. Just listen to that sound. It just changes the entire space. And I get paid to do my job. I love it. Well, it's still raining. We're still here in St. Louis, and what are we seeing? This is a pondless waterfall, about a 50-foot stream in falls. We've got a deep 50 foot. stream section. Kind of resembles a pond, but it cascades all the way up and down this hillside with a nice set of ledge rock steps going up and down. And whenever you have a, a hill, you have a palette to work with as an artist. Let's check this out. How long ago did you build this? We built this thing about six years nice. ago, maybe. So it's nicely filled in. Huh? Yes, she is a very adamant gardener. Oh, we She's, love gardeners. Oh my gosh. She oh yeah, decorated I see it. this thing so beautifully. Oh my. Look at that. 
heck? It looks like a got a Japanese flare. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. I'm the pond guy, Greg Whitstock. Oh, hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. This is absolutely beautiful. It is my uh, pride and joy. So you are a gardener. Um, yeah. I so know. how much work is this? Oh, the, the I mean, if you if you, it, it depends on what kind of an outdoor person you are. Sure. I mean, it's, it's therapy really, for you to work with the plants and. Yeah, I mean, I have to keep up with the plants and everything, and I I definitely. We, we always check the water level, as, mm -hmm. told, as taught by Chris. You know, that's one of our priorities, especially in these long days of heat and yep. things like that. But for the most part, it's really self-sufficient. It's, it's, it's not, an ecosystem. It's not a hard thing at all. All right, so Chris, this is a pretty traditional mortared-in water feature. And you said they started with this. They went with a big water feature back there. That one was falling apart, and that's how they brought you in, correct? Correct. So the, the original feature was built much like this one actually by the same designer mm -hmm. and it was just non-functional very very small pond actually the pond was smaller than this and there's probably about a 20 foot stream on it so very top heavy just leaked like crazy everything was mortared together you can see there's exposed liner on this one the other one we couldn't find the liner because it was all just covered up and everything was low so there was no hope for it we had to start over she knew about aquascapes we designed this new system here and she's just absolutely in love with it I've been dreaming of memories Things I never thought to believe I've been writing some melodies Trying to find my way back to you And I've come this far There's nowhere left for me to go You've got a piece of my heart so back here, we've got this large slope. This is where you took out the existing concrete waterfalls yes. and put this in. How'd you build this? So this one, we came in, we designed it to be interactive with the garden. She's got a very green thumb and loves the garden. There was a old set of steps that went up the garden with the waterfall way on the right-hand side. And I said, why can't we re design that staircase so that we can actually interact and cross over the feature? So that's exactly what we did. We redesigned and rebuilt mm -hmm. the stairs to walk all the way up the hill, but alongside and across the water feature at a couple points. We used a signature 2500 biofalls at the top. We've got about uh, 12 aqua blocks in the bottom there, and I think we got a, a Surumi 5PL pump on this one. But this is a 50 foot stream with a deep section at the bottom that we have kind of as a ponding area mm -hmm. with a cantilever deck right over it so they can sit put their feet right in the water. 50 foot stream, probably what, 25 tons of boulders? Yeah, I think we're closer to like 35 or wow. 40. What would this run today for nature's recreations to recreate this in someone's yard? Today, if we did this as is, it's probably about a $50,000 feature. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely transformational, like she said. Last year, and How? this is my therapy. How you lost a young man, 37, with a wife and three small children. Oh, let me give you a hug. So, um, it's been a so, rough year and a half, and yeah, we just take a day, Chris Jones, and we just take a day at a time. And yeah, this is my this is where you commune with God back here in your garden, right? Oh, well, that's that is the hardest thing that any parent would have to deal yeah. with. 
but to have a sanctuary mm -hmm. yes, a Navy, that you can have. Navy pilot. Okay. And transferred me with an Air Force pilot and did deployments and he was a Southwest pilot and wow. just a very successful man. Great guy. And left a family and left a mother, which you know, no, no person should ever have to bury a child, but you got your sanctuary back here to came back with. from deployment and got sick with some freaking weird rare, rare disease and died eight weeks later. At thirty seven. Wow, that is so, so tough. Yeah. That is so tough. But you have grandkids, we and you do. have, a, and you have. <laughs> oh boy, do we! <laughs> yeah. and we're more involved than we ever thought we would be. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, it it just became more of a lifeline than ever. Right. You know, because of what happened. Yes. So well, I'm glad it I could. I'm glad it could give you some to peace. keep my sanity. <laughs> yes. We we all need to be able to keep our sanity, that's but that's a sure. challenge for that's, that's for the sure. worst every parent's worst nightmare. But yeah, you had him for is. 37 years, and he gave you gifted you with three grandchildren. This is a beautiful water feature, and like so many people, they started with a small water feature and went to a big water feature. It's always cheaper to do it right the first time, but you don't always know, and that's exactly why we're doing these vlogs, to educate people on ponds done right, customers served right, and show how people live the aquascape lifestyle. Hey, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow along as we visit cool people with phenomenal yards.